All right. I think uh, we are live. Can you please let me know in the chat box if my audio and video is good? Can you guys please let me know in the chat box if my audio and video is good? Okay. Right. So hello everyone. So uh, the INISS exam is done and uh, I hope the neurology paper was uh, okay for most of you. And uh, this is just an overall analysis of the INISS DM neurology paper and uh, just a very superficial analysis. So in our WhatsApp groups, uh, students have been actively discussing the questions and uh, I've got the recall questions as well. So I'll be doing a detailed recall discussion video also in the doc tutorials app, just like the previous sessions. So all the previous year session recall videos we have already uploaded in the app in case you are an aspirant preparing for the upcoming INI exams. So, um, yeah, so basically what I would like to tell you is that uh, seeing the questions that actually came, you know, you can just uh, tell me your suggestions as well. These are my inputs on uh, seeing the discussion in my academic WhatsApp groups of candidates who have given the exam. This is just a superficial analysis that I would like to discuss with you. Number one, uh, I understand that the paper was of a moderate difficulty level. And that is what most students gave the opinion. Uh, I did not find much of the seriously preparing candidates telling me that the paper was very easy, nor was it very difficult. So the first point I would like to discuss with you is that uh, the difficulty level was uh, moderate. That is what students told me. And um, coming to the second point is regarding the representation of previous year topics. So if you look at the INI uh, recall questions, you know, I just have the collection with me. And I'll just read certain topics for you. Okay, look at these topics. Rapidly progressive dementia. Okay. Uh, gene mutation in familial ALS. Then um, Hirano bodies. Seizure semiology. This time they had asked about the ictal pout. So um, juvenile myoclonic epilepsy, Dravet syndrome, absent seizures, deep brain stimulation and their sites, genetics of Alzheimer's disease, uh, propofol infusion dose in refractory status, McDonald criteria, radiological signs of CJD. What is common to all this? You know, the list is there, but what is common to all this? They are all previous year topics. So let me tell you something. One crucial factor for the exam this time will be if you have made mistakes in previous year topic questions that may affect you badly because see there are certain tough questions in the paper as well. No doubt about it. There are some tough questions, but you can afford to make maybe a couple of mistakes in those, uh, but not in the previous year topics. So previous year topics are definitely going to be rank deciding as well. And another point I want to tell you is um, that there were some direct repeats as well. Here again, I am emphasizing the students of the importance of the recall videos. Because as I said, you know, we have got only 80 questions. Now, since this is an exam with 80 questions, every question is like gold. Okay. You cannot afford any sort of careless mistakes. Every question is gold. So that is what I want to tell you. Um, careless mistakes will cost you badly for this exam. Okay. Now there are certain rank deciding questions as well. And uh, I'll tell you one example. There are multiple such questions, but I'll tell you one example. For example, uh, that question on the ictal pout. Okay. So the question on the ictal pout that is the uh, Chapu Jendrami sign, which is something that I have already discussed in the INI QRP videos. 
okay so the gendarme sign is not an easy question but that definitely is one of the rank deciding questions of this paper because i have covered that in the qrp part so i have always told you remember whenever you are preparing for ini i have told you please watch the recall videos the ini qrp and the li test and discussion i keep repeating this it's not only now i have always told this these two are the most high yield resources and i think there was quite a very good number of questions based on these as well i can recollect some of the questions i have discussed in li tnd also similar questions actually coming so that is what i want to tell you and a few uh, image based questions were there not much of surprises uh, i think students who have got a decent understanding of your neuroanatomy definitely would have some advantage because uh, there were some questions and i think um, you know uh, some questions related to neuroanatomy so if your uh, neuroanatomy is good definitely that will give you an advantage here and uh, now um, we'll be doing a recall uh, discussion a detailed one uh, in the uh, doc tutorial sap but at this moment of time let me just tell all my students i can see you know you all of you are listening to me i just have one advice for you not as a teacher but as a senior what you should be doing right now is today you can do the recall discussion but from tomorrow if you feel that you have a decent chance of cracking the stage 1 prepare yourself for stage 2 right now itself because stage 2 also carries 20 marks and that is again important for your selection and stage 2 the preparation is quite different from that of stage 1 stage 2 is an online interview round and in that online interview round you will be assessed based on your ability to answer maybe some scenario based questions maybe some uh, ct scan or mri or eeg not just an mcq assessment is going to happen it is not going to be an mcq assessment for round 2 so i want you to start preparing for round 2 now itself and i warn you you have to start preparation now at least some of you might think sir let me wait for the result to be announced you can but if you start early you will get advantage because i know that some of you have already given the previous ini you may not have got which is why you are preparing for current ini those students will know how important the interview round is okay because see a bit of luck is also there you can be asked anything and everything under the sun anything and everything sometimes to the extent that they might ask you something about your thesis okay and uh, sometimes you know some students have got such questions as well but mostly neurology related questions only but you will have to prepare like that so you might ask me sir how to prepare what to prepare first of all i want to tell you round 2 interview is not about going to your you know mcq books again there is no point you know now going to your doc tutorials q bank and revising q bank no that's not what you have got to do this is an interview they are going to assess how you are going to perform yes well there is going to be an element of luck because as i said you will be thrown a random question maybe two or three questions the time frame for the interview though uh, they will give you a particular Uh, you know time frame of 15 minutes for each candidate but actually what happens is some candidates might get 2 or 3 minutes only some candidate might get 10 15 minutes so it actually keeps varying so it depends on your luck you know the examiner his mood it depends on multiple things but when you have a scenario like that what is the best thing that you can do can you control which question you will get no can you control which examiner you will get no the only thing that you can do is focus on the previous year interview questions so i already have the collection of the previous year interview questions i am sure those who have already prepared with doc tutorials in the previous session they already know that i conduct mock interview sessions in fact for the last few years i have been conducting consistently the mock interview sessions remember that mock interview sessions that i have conducted for the previous batches are already uploaded in the app so i want all my children to start listening to the mock interview sessions from tomorrow so the interview sessions that i have taken for the previous batch are already uploaded in the app you start watching that from tomorrow right and the day 
the selection list is announced for the next round, we'll be forming a WhatsApp group. In that WhatsApp group, I'll be sharing with you the questions of the previous year's interview round as well. And you have to prepare. You make small notes out of it. You try to speak in front of a mirror. Do you feel childish for that? No, you have to do that. If you speak in front of mirror, you'll be more confident. Well, I'm sure that you people know your theory well, which is why you have prepared seriously for the exam. But when it comes to the interview round, it is totally different. You have to be preparing in an interview mode. So all my children, please be serious in your preparation from tomorrow. Don't take it lightly because some people might think, okay, round one is done, chalega, like two, I'll just do something and go. No, it's not like that. Two means you have to prepare for round two. Okay, it's not like casually going and giving. You know, I have got several, several examples of candidates whose round one score was not that great. I can even quote in names of my students as well. I still remember one of my dear students. Her name was Dr. Shiny Joy. Uh, her name, I mean, she had a decent rank in stage, I mean, round one, but that was not enough to get a good seat. Okay, so uh, in the round two, the interview round, she got a very good score. Okay. So I think the round one, her score was around 34 or 35, something like that, you know. But round two, her score was so good so that she came in top 10 and she got Ames Delhi. Now she has finished a DM Neurology from Ames Delhi. Okay, so that is what I'm telling you. Round two can sometimes be a miracle round for many. Sometimes, you know, like you might feel that your round one was not that great. But if you are lucky, now you have to be lucky, but along with that, you have to prepare well as well. So luck is always there. I agree. Sometimes even if you prepare so hard for the interview, if luck is not on your side, you may not be able to perform well. I, I'll accept that. It is true. I've seen students over the years. I've taken multiple interviews as well. I've seen students going to the interview round. I've interacted with them. So I know it best. But I just want to tell you, you have to prepare well. Now, after the results are announced, we'll be having mock interviews. We'll be doing mock interview rounds. We'll be doing sessions for EEG. We'll be doing sessions for neuroimaging. But before that, all my children now, you have to now start watching from tomorrow. What are you waiting for? You're waiting for the result to come. After the result come, you will only get some days. But what if you start today? If you start today, you will get extra few days to prepare for the interview round. So at least you start watching the mock interview sessions uploaded in the app. That's what I would like to tell you. Forget about, you know, what the results of round one will be. But please, my dear children, please start preparing for round two and round two seriously itself. Okay. So this is what I want to tell you. So uh, I've already got the set of questions, which we'll be doing the recall video also. But in case you have made some compilation, I've already got some compilations. But if you have made a better compilation, please do inbox me. I'll be happy to receive it and so that I can help the upcoming batches as well. Uh, thank you so much, uh, everyone. And I hope the all the recall videos that I had done in the app, uh, including the QRP, you know, uh, glad to see a few questions from that. Many questions from the Allied test and discussion coming in the, you know, uh, exam. So if you are somebody who has watched all these, the you know, even if you have not watched the main video, QRP video, test and discussion video, and the uh, recall videos thoroughly, you know, if you select topics, I've always told, just don't learn that topic alone. Please, I mean, the question alone, read that topic fully. And if you have done that, I'm sure that, you know, you would definitely get a good, decent score for the exam. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining. And I wish you good luck for the results of stage one for INI. Thank you so much.